Can you still remember the supposed Kakarodontosaurs that appeared in Dinosaur Planet? They most certainly weren't actually Kakarodontosaurids, because they died out a few million years prior in South America. In reality, those two were A.R. Ostian, a member of the Megaraptor family. Today, we will take a look at what this predator really is. A.R. Ostian was a member of the Megaraptorans. It lived in Argentina in the Campanian period, which spans 83.6 million to 72.1 million years ago. You might want to know why I said A.R. Ostian most certainly wasn't a Kakarodontosaurid. Well, A.R. Ostian has a complex taxonomic history. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Try not to lose brain cells while we go through this. A.R. Ostian is a Megaraptorid. This means that it lived in the subgroup of Megaraptorans and was more closely related to Megaraptor than to Basal Megaraptorans. This classification of the Megaraptorans is still not certain. We will now look at four potential possibilities. One possibility is that the Megaraptors are a subgroup of the Neovenatoridae. Two of the theories on the placing of the Neovenatoridae are either within the Kakarodontosaurians or Kakarodontosaurids. So there is still a slight chance that Arostian is a Kakarodontosaurid. However, more recent studies claim that the Megaraptora are simply a group within the Solurosauria or a sister taxon of the Tyrannosauroidea. One study even claims that the Megaraptora belongs within Tyrannosauroidea. Baby, that's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. That would make them a sister taxon of the Tyrannosauridae group, which also includes T-Rex. I still can't picture a group of Tyrannosaurids with long arms and nasty claws. It just doesn't suit in my head. Megaraptorans can cut pretty much anything and on the other hand there's T-Rex who won't be too happy if you ask him to kill anything with his hands. Fucking hell man, I'm finished. Anyways, Megaraptorans first appeared about 130 million years ago and lived until the end of the Cretaceous period. Fossils are known from South America, Asia and Australia. E.R. Ostian was one of the larger and therefore more dangerous Megaraptorans alongside Megaraptor, the giant Maip, Tratayenia and potentially the Rapator. The most recent size estimates for E.R. Ostian are a length of 7.5 meters, a 24.6 feet and a weight of 1 metric ton. A.R. Ostian Rio coloradensis is the only species and thus also the type species of the genus A.R. Ostian. Welcome back, Captain Obvious. Yes, I am! A.R. Ostian was described by Paul Serino, among others, in 2009 and its name means airborne from the Rio Colorado. The species epithet Rio Coloradensis comes from the Rio Colorado River in southern Argentina, as its fossils were found 1 km or 0.6 miles north of the river. Probably the most interesting feature of the A.R. Ostian are its bird-esque airways. Cavities were discovered in the body of A.R. Ostian. A system of air tubes runs around the body, ending in hollow bones. Researchers developed three theories as to its purpose. First theory, they could have made the lungs and breathing more efficient. Second theory, air rust and reduced its weight through the system, which means it has the exact same function as the skull fenestry. Third theory, it served as a heat regulator. The classification of air rust and as a megaraptorid would mean that it also possessed the characteristics of these predators. It was closely related to the Muros raptor, which was a bit smaller than an air rustian. Megaraptors were usually medium to large sized predators and were equipped with long hand claws and robust front legs. A single tooth, some skull bones, a number of fragmented vertebrae of the neck, some complete vertebrae of the neck, back and sacrum, several ribs, abdominal ribs, fork bone, left scapula, the left ilium, and the left and right pubis were found from air rustian. Air rustian lived in Argentina in the Anaclator formation. Alongside Air Ostian lived various sauropods such as Barosaurus, Laplatosaurus, Nequensaurus and Narambuena Titan. The small onithopod Gasparini Sora also called this land its home. Apart from the dinosaurs, small mammals and the crocodilomorph Gasparini Sucus also lived here. From the non-avian dinosaur theropod side, Orcasaurus and the Bellisaurus also lived here alongside the Arostian. Orcasaurus was considerably smaller, but the Bellisaurus reached a similar size and was probably even heavier than Arostian. 
or Ostian. Normally, the top predators of an ecosystem tend to avoid each other. However, it could be that Ear Ostian and the Bellisaurus stole each other's prey or even crashed into each other from time to time. Mega Raptorans and the Bellisaurus could only fully take over the apex predator niches in South America after the large Cacarodontosaurids, Giganotosaurus, Maposaurus, and Meraxes, as well as the giant Spinosaurid Oxalia, vanished. However, both these groups developed and spread wide much earlier, so it was their deserved time to shine. And out of the whole bunch of the mysterious group that Megaraptor is generally, Aerostian takes the crown for most mysterious. We do not know why Aerostian became extinct. Aerostian died out 72.6 million years ago, a few million years prior to the great mass extinction at the Cretaceous tertiary boundary. It was one of the top predators of the Campanian in Argentina and one of the faces of the Megaraptora. That's it for the video of Aerostian, an unorthodox predator even among Megaraptorans. Check out one of these bloops as well as Twitter for more dinosaur stuff and Instagram for fitness stuff. Also subscribe so we can smash past the first 1000 subscribers. I wish you a splendid day or evening. Megaraptor out.